Hey everyone, how's it going? Happy Thursday. Today we are diving into sales. So I just had a call with some of my um, mastermind peeps and we were talking all about sales and people sitting on the fence and what to do about it. And um, it was a really great conversation and I figured this would be really helpful for other people to hear and to get support with because I know this can be like a really weird and uncomfortable topic for people. Um, we can feel super sleazy with this and there's no reason to. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to share this. How do I share this? Hold on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and share this to my other pages, but if you're joining and you know somebody who also feels uncomfortable with sales, this is gonna help a lot of people. So it would mean so much to me if you could go ahead and share this. So go ahead, click share, um, send out the love because this is a really important conversation that people need to be supported with. Let me know if you are joining live, say hi. Let me know what your biggest struggle with sales is right now. Like where do you feel like weird or wonky with this process? Um, and uh, let me know also like how I can help you, how I can support you. So why isn't this letting me share? Hold on one second. So let me just post this right here. Okay, there we go. All right, we're gonna get started in 0.2 seconds, I promise. Post. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. All right, so say hi if you're live. I always love to hear who's here. Um, let me know if you're watching the replay. And if you're live or you're watching the replay, type in your number one um, struggle with sales and I will either address it live or I'll address it in the comments afterwards. So I took a bunch of notes. I went back into the recording of um, the uh, coaching call that I had and I wrote down like our conversation so I, I made sure not to miss anything. Um, okay, so she, a client was sharing with me that she had this one-off session with a couple and at the end, she didn't present the opportunity to continue working with them. And she said that it was because she wanted to give them time to digest everything and, you know, figured they'd want to talk to each other. And so she mentioned that um, she, she like asked me, like, what do you find most useful about this? Like, what are you excited to take action on? And all that stuff. But then that was it. Then the conversation was left in no man's land. So we all know that no man's land is not the place you want to be. Give me some, um, give me like a weird emoji face if you've ever left a sales call in no man's land because I know I have. When I first started, I wouldn't even share my programs. I'd be so freaking awkward. So I get it. If you've been there, give me a weird face. I understand. Um, and so I told her, like, there's no one way to do a sales call. Everyone's like, oh, my gosh, this is the formula you have to follow. Like, this is it. And that's such bullshit. Um, if you know me, I don't believe there's any one way to do anything. Um, but there are more effective strategies that you can put in place or at least try out. So there's a certain magic that happens and there's a certain energy that takes place that people experience when they are like in the moment of a call or whether it's a sales call or a one-off call or whatever like there's a certain sacred container that's created and um there's this there's just like this high like this energy that's like so unique to that container when something you know when something's magical and transformative and you're like oh my god it's an amazing feeling um so i i gave her the example of like how like a few years ago i went skydiving and i was like in such a high and i was like oh my god like this is the coolest thing ever and they were like well you know half off package like if you buy it now and i was like oh hell yes like i'm gonna be like a skydiving instructor 
Um, and I mean, I didn't become a skydiving instructor, but I was like, oh my God, yes, sign me up. I went to like unleash the power within a Tony Robbins thing. Um, it was like the first thing I went to, but like in the moment when I was experiencing it, it was like such a powerful experience that I bought like this 10K like mastery program, like, like that. Um, and so it's not to say like this is tricking people into making a decision, but I really do believe that if we are in alignment with something, um, if it feels like a hell yes to us, if it is our truth, we can feel it in that moment because we've experienced a transformation. It's fresh in our minds and um, we are open to the possibility of what's available for us. So give me a one if you know this feeling that I'm talking about. If you've ever been in a space or a container where you've experienced the magic, you like understand like there's some type of amazing energy going on and like you can feel it. So give me like a one if you've been in one of those situations before. Um, so um, Kristen, hey girl. So yeah, so there's just like this space that you're in that's like, whoa, I can't believe that just happened. Like, I wonder what else is possible. Like, this is so cool. And so that is why it is so powerful to have a conversation in that energy because that's when um, they are more open to exploring what's next than if they get off the call. Because when they get on the call, they are in this magical world where they can tap into the infinite possibilities that are available to them. They can feel it, right? However, when they get off of the call, they're reintegrated into the ordinary and the mundane world. And you know, all of like the day-to-day -day things come flooding in, the tasks, the priorities, their other obligations, um, and the magic starts to wear off. So let me you know, give me a two if you've experienced that, if you've been in a situation where it's like, oh my God, it's amazing. But then like, you know, you integrate into your daily life and like the magic wears off and you're like, did that even happen? Was that even, I don't know, I don't really remember anymore um, because I know that that's, that's happened to me. And so, um, yeah, two, 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 two. Um, so you kind of like leave and you're like, eh, whatever. Like, I'm just going to keep doing my life and, you know, doing the same old things and la da da -de da right? And that, ah, that's like not what you want, right? Because then they are just going along, not making a change. And that is not serving anybody. That's actually like harming them, I think. Um, so that's why when you can, doing something in the moment, getting them to be a yes or a no on that call is the best thing to do. Uh, so if, if they sign up right then and there, like, amazing, great. Uh, if they don't, that's okay too. Like, we want them to just be a yes or a no so there's not, like, the awkward fence-sitting thing going on. So... Um, what I would do to like start to gear the conversation into like, working with you, so it's not awkward, it's not sleazy, is you can say to them, um, like, what were your top takeaways from this call? Um, what did you really enjoy? What is now, po what has been made possible from this session? Or what do you see unfolding for yourself now? Like, what actions are you excited to take? Um, what do you feel is going to be able to shift and change for you now? Um, you know, if you were to receive this type of support ongoing, what would be available to you? What would change? Or what would you love to see happen? And how do you think that would be made possible with this type of support? So then you can share that like, hey, you know, how I work is like I work with people on this ongoing basis. So there's constant support and there's constant accountability to shorten the timeline for achieving your goals. And so you're able to make these quantum leaps that you wouldn't have been able to make without this type of container. So you can then go on to say, you know, like I can share more about how I work with people if that's something that interests you. And so then you go into the selling container conversation, which is a huge part of the sales process. Um, I'm going to save that for a different call, though, because there is a lot that goes on there. Um, but I'm going to kind of like loop back around and talk about how to get these people like off the fence because like it's not comfortable. Um, what else is there to say? Do do do. What did I write here? Ah, yeah. So, like, I, I, I think it's, like, really important to um, 
be just transparent with people and tell them what they can expect if they get off the call without making a decision. So you can say that like, you know, I see so many people run into this problem is like when they don't make a decision right away, here's what you can expect. This is what I've seen happen time and time again. So you're going to leave this call. You're going to be feeling on this high and you're like, I got this. Like, this is good. And then again, an ordinary stuff is going to come up and you're going to forget about what's happened here. And like, if it's even worth it. And so here's what I want from you in this moment. I want you to feel into what took place. And I want you to, if there was a shift, if you experienced a shift, I want you to tap into that. Like, what was that shift? Like, how did it feel? And I want you to imagine if we were to continue working on this in greater depth together, what other shifts would be made possible? Um, is this something that you're ex interested in experiencing more of? And so um, you can say to them, like, in this moment, maybe you're a yes. And, like, if you're a yes, like, awesome, like, let's do this. Um, and if you're a no, like, what would make this worth it for you? Like, what's missing? Like, what's holding you back? What's keeping you from really being a yes? And, and ideally, you really want to be clear with them. Like, I want you to come to a decision now because you'll probably just like, you know, start once you leave this conversation, you'll start to get into your head around your decision. You'll start to let other people influence it. So what's true for you? Like, what's your answer in this moment? Like, what is your soul telling you? How are you feeling? Like, what's your truth? Tap into it. Tap into it and make a decision from this space, right? Um... And when you make a decision from this space, that's your authentic truth, right? And so then it's in their hands. It's not sleazy. It's not salesy or anything like that. And so rather than messaging them a day or two afterwards and be like, hey, how was that called? Do you want to work together? This is far more powerful for them to make a true decision. So um, she also shared how she had a bunch of emails that she's waiting to reply to. Um, it, because they were kind of like soft no's or maybes and she didn't really know how to address them. And so it's just been sitting there and giving her anxiety. And I was like, oh my gosh, like that's taking up so much energy, whether you're conscious of it or not. Um, it's hanging over your head and you just keep pushing it off, but you're not really pushing it off. You're just like allowing it to take up more and more space. So give yourself um, the, the peace of mind that you're just going to deal with it. So, um, it's time for them to be a yes or a no and to get them off the fence because it's so uncomfortable sitting on the fence. So here's what you can say to help them move towards a decision one way or another. And let me know in the comments what value you're getting from this, what's interesting, what ahas you're getting and what you're excited to put into place. Because again, you can watch these Facebook lies and like get ideas, but if you're not putting them into action, then nothing's going to happen. All right. So if it's been like a few weeks since, you know, you've reached out to somebody, you could say like, hey, I know it's been a couple of weeks now and I wanted to check in and see how you're feeling about everything. If you have any questions or you're curious, I'd love to explore this opportunity again with you. Um, just so you know, because this is true, she's creating new offerings. I also have a few other offerings that I've created at various price points and I'd love to share more. Let me know if you want to hop on a call and discuss them. And if someone like replies to me and is like, hey, what are the prices? Like, tell me the things. I personally don't like to give them all the details there because there's more to explore. And there's like this selling container thing that I was talking about. Um, so then I would respond back and just be like, hey, there's a bunch of different options and we're going to customize them for what's helpful for you. So let's chat about them. Um, so she also asked me like, when do you know, like when to push it with them or when to just leave it? And again, there's no one size fits all solution or an answer here. Some people I can be super blunt with and I'm like, are you ready to make a change or no? Like, do you, are you ready to commit to this or do you want to sit and just have, you know, the same things happen over and over again? It's up to you, your decision. What do you want? Like, there's some people that I can be very blunt with that about. Other people, I really need to hold their hand, be super compassionate and take it slowly. And so I, I try to just gauge their personality and what they really need. Um, and it was funny because I actually had a call with someone the other day and I, I totally called her out on her shit. And in a loving way, and I made it very clear, like, hey, I'm saying this to you because I think you're awesome, but like, this is what I see, like, you're experiencing these things because this is what you're doing, and this is like, you know, and so I, I, I totally called her out on her bullshit, 
And um, the next day I received an email from her just being like, thank you so much. That session was amazing. Like no one's ever done that for me. Um, and yeah, so it was really powerful for her. And like, that's as coaches, like what we're paid to do. We're not paid to say the easy thing or, um, you know, like be like their best friend. Of course, I'm a cheerleader sometimes and, and, you know, loving, but also to say things and reflect things that no one else is doing so they can actually transform and make a change. Um, but there are some people who, if I had that conversation with, they might overanalyze it or get really like insecure about it. So uh, you, you sometimes just need to take an intuitive guess. Um, but yeah, I always like to explore things further and understand like why people are a no. So I'm not just like, okay, bye, see you never. Um, I, I like to know why. And so um, I was talking to somebody about doTERRA the other day and the opportunity to join uh, our team and I part of like the way that I addressed it like I didn't exactly like address in the best way I was just like hey we sell oils we do this and you know I could have done a better job of you know initiating the conversation um but she was curious about it and so I was like hey yeah I'll share more with you so she came back and said like you know I don't really know if this is a good fit for me and like the path that I'm on and um, I haven't seen a response since because this is like a couple hours ago. Um, but I was like, hey, no worries. I get it. I, I, you know, I felt the same way before because literally that's true. When I first heard about this, I was like, no, I don't want to touch that with a 10 foot pole. Like doesn't work for my business. Um, so I was like, hey, just out of curiosity, like what doesn't feel like a fit for you? Where are you headed and what doesn't feel aligned about it? So if this person comes back to me and says like, well, I just think it's like awkward, like MLMs like suck and I don't really want to be super salesy or, you know, whatever. Then I'm like, oh, okay. Like now I know her objection and I can easily overcome it. Um, and I can share how our, our team does things in a totally different way and that we practice like soulful serving, not sleazy selling. Um, and by doing this, like it's helped our team grow by 77 people in like under two months and um, that it's, you know, it, it, people love it and it's been one of the best business decisions that they've ever made. Um, if they're like, uh, you know what, this doesn't feel like a fit because like, I don't really want to have like a separate brand. I don't want to just like do all oils. Like I don't want to be confusing for my people. Then I can be like, Oh, I totally get it. Like our team, 99% of us are coaches or healers or entrepreneurs with existing brands and businesses and we actually don't want to have a separate doTERRA only business. We want to naturally weave in essential oils um, into what we're already doing in a way that enhances our brand and creates an even more magical experience for our clients rather than confusing them and creating like this disjointed experience. So then I can speak to that. But, you know, if I don't know what their objections are, then I can't overcome them. Then I can't show them that there's a different way. And if I can't show them there's a different way, then there's not an opportunity for them. There's not an opportunity for them to change or to um, do something that's going to be really amazing and transformational for them. So, um, yeah. So, like, either way, it's just really helpful to know these things so then... I can maybe address them right away when I speak to somebody at first and manage their expectations. It's just really helpful information to know like why it's a no for somebody. So I always like to get curious and ask further. Um, so another thing she was asking like is like, okay, so if I haven't connected with this person for a few weeks, how can I get them off the fence one way or another? And so... I was saying like, you know, you can just send them a little email and be like, hey, how's it going? I just wanted to check in and see where you're standing. Um, and then based off of like what they like, what's coming up for you? How are you feeling? And based off of what they say, you can then steer the conversation. So if they're like, I don't know if it's going to fit into my budget right now, or like, I don't know if I have time, like then you know the objection, right? And you can see how to overcome it. So you can ask like, Okay, cool. Like, what were you originally hoping to spend on an experience like this? Um, what were you originally, like, hoping the results would be? Like, what and what are you comfortable spending? So any information is going to be really helpful. Um, so please, like, share whatever you can with me because, like, I just want to be back. 
I want to better be able to support people like you and craft offerings that are going to be really exciting and in alignment for people moving forwards. So if she was like, oh, you know, like I was looking for something that would help me with sales and I was looking to spend 97 to 297 on it. Then you can come back and say like, oh, that's awesome. So, okay, like maybe my, you know, one-on-one -on -one coaching isn't the best fit for you right now, but I actually have like a sales sorcery program that's $197. Um, so, you know what? Here you go. Or if you don't have something like that, then you can, if it's true, then you can say, I, you know, I'm, I'm working on something at the moment, or I plan to create something around that price point that helps people with that because it's a really popular subject. And, you know, once it's completed, I'll be sure to reach out and share it with you. Um, and let's say if they're just like, let's see if they say like i just can't spend any money right now i mean there's like all of these other objections and things that you can say to overcome that but like let's just say they're like nah i'm good then um you're like all right cool totally get it if you want you can stay connected to me by joining my email list i send out weekly emails that help support you with xyz or you can join my facebook group or you know what from everything that you shared with me today um I feel like, you know, your biggest struggles with sales and I have a really amazing free training that's all about overcoming the top 10 objections. So I think that'd be really helpful for you. Here's where you can opt in. Let me know any ahas that you have from it or any um, questions that you have. You can then check back in and see how that went for them. Or a few months later, you can check back and see how like everything's going and if they're looking for any type of support, if they want to reconnect. So you're keeping the conversation going. Like even if they're a no today, it doesn't mean that they're never no. Um, or maybe, you know, you have a free training coming up or a challenge coming up. You can reach back out to this person and be like, hey, how's it going? I wanted to let you know that there's a training all about overcoming the top sales objections that um, I'm doing this Thursday. And I just, from our conversation um, a few weeks ago, a few months ago, I thought this would be really valuable for you. So I'd love to have you join us. Like, here's the link to join. Or if someone is really on the edge and you would love to work with them, if you've created a worksheet or a training or something that's not for public um, consumption, you could say like, hey, I thought about you as I was creating this. This is something I only have shared with my private clients so far, but I thought you could really benefit from it. I'd love to hear your top takeaways and any questions you have. you being a crazy. So if they do want support moving forward, you're probably going to be their go-to person. Um... Let's see what else. This is the last little bit here. But she asked, you know, are there any additional sales levers that you can pull or incentives that you can create to make a package more appealing? So um, with one-on-one -on -one things, I've found that when you figure out what they want, then you can, sorry, phone call coming through. When you figure out what, you, what they want, then you can customize it to them so it's really helpful. So I was joking around and saying that my business partner, Pam, Pamela Chen, we work together in doTERRA and she's so funny with this. She like just blatantly goes out there and is like, okay, what do you want? <laughs> like, like, what's going to make you a yes? Like, how, what are you going to need in order to join our team? She's like, do you want, you know, my tarot deck? Okay, got it. Do you want one of Alexi's courses? Like, okay, I'll ask her if that's cool. Um, she had like her, her tarot coach, um, like sign something for somebody's cat. Like that's what they wanted. So she makes it happen. Uh, and so I just, I love that. And I think that's so funny and you don't have to like, you know, go to that far or you can, but listen, like, are you actually listening to them and what they're struggling with? Um, so like if they keep mentioning, I keep using the sales thing, but if, if you, they mention that they've had a really hard time with sales then you can say like, hey, like when if when you sign up by X date, I'll gift you my sales sorcery course, or I'll gift you a ninety minute intensive around your sales process, helping you create your own sales script, helping you overcome objections with ease in a way that feels really good for you, creating your selling container, whatever it is that's really gonna. Hey, when you sign up by like X date, I'll gift you my quarterly content that converts course, or and like a 30 minute follow up call to review your content marketing plan, or I'll give you a 90 minute session where we literally map out a whole quarter's worth of content 
um, so you feel really confident about what you're putting out there and it's leading to your offers so um, you know it's supporting you in getting clients or if money is like a really big thing for them, you can say like when you sign up by X date, you're gonna get a fast action discount of like $500 off. Um, so you wanna create an incentive that is customized for their struggles, their objections, or their desires, not just some random thing that's not gonna hit home for them and like, you know, hit that emotional point for them. So I also wanna say most of the time people don't, money is not the thing, right? It's just that they're unsure if they're gonna get a certain result or whether it's possible. So if you can focus the incentive around making sure that they achieve that result from the start, then that can be really powerful. Um, and like, let's just say too that if what they desire isn't necessarily like in your specialty or your wheelhouse, you can collaborate with somebody and give them a session with a colleague or a course or a program or a training with a coach or a friend or whatever of yours. So that's why also having certain connections and relationships in this industry is super important so you can support each other. So many possibilities, but you don't want a blanket thing because the... Okay, I think I'm back. Sorry about that. Hopefully you can hear me still. Um, but yeah, the beauty of this is listening to what they want and creating a customized solution. So everything I do with my clients is customized. Even in masterminds or group programs, there's never a one size fits all solution. I do not believe in cookie cutter formulas. I am always getting super creative about my strategy and how I can craft a really unique experience for them because everybody's desires, learning styles, um, goals, et cetera, are so different. And so you have to be able to get creative and you have to have, um, yeah, be strategic in a creative way and come up with creative solutions. Um, so I hope that helped you. I would love to hear what your top takeaways from this are, what you're excited to implement inside of your sales process, what questions you have about sales, what are your biggest um, obstacles or struggles with it, how can I support you? Feel free if you're watching the replay to type in the comments and ask questions and I will um, get around to it. And if this was helpful for you, please share the love. Um, I really love helping people and supporting people around this because I know this is such like a weird area for so many people and it was for me for a really long time. So let me know how I can help you further and what actions you're going to take from this. All right. Okay. I hope you all have a great rest of your night and I'll chat with you soon. Mwah. Bye.